Well, hello, my friends. I am Dean the Turkey Lakester. Welcome to Fort Christmas. This is located in East uh, Central Florida, specifically East Orange County. Fort Christmas was built in the 1830s during the Seminole Indian War, and it served as a uh, supply depot for the, the Army during that war. Today it is a replica, and they have the fort here as well as several buildings. They have a whole group of pioneer homes set up to depict the housing and living situations and conditions in the 1800s and into the 1900s. So on this video, I am taking you on this walking tour through the fort. Outside here, you don't have to start here, but I usually start here at the powder magazine. They stored the gunpowder, ammunition here below ground level in the event that um, Uh, there was an explosion the powder would go mostly upward and not outward and damage the fort uh, this of course these are just boxes now to demonstrate the powder magazine if you're watching this video and you want to read the any of the plaques i will pause for just a moment and you feel free to pause the video or screenshot to get a good reading of that and then over here we have the storehouse there is an American flag up here uh, obviously in the uh, 1800s the flag would not have been that I don't think or would have I guess I should study my history <laughs> a little bit. Uh, so we'll come up here and um, get a little pan around of the fort as we get ready to head in to the storehouse. I will try to get this in one long take if I need to end the shot and have a transition. It'll be because I don't want to film anyone else in here. So, there aren't too many other people here today. There's a few people, but it's a beautiful day. And uh, yeah, so let's head into the storehouse. They do have these ramps. There is a good portion of the fort that is accessible for a wheelchair and those that have trouble on steps <clears throat> these are some informational items about the building of Fort Christmas I do apologize for the glare trying to get a good shot of that. There's a heat, really bad glare there. All right. Got a couple of wagon wheels right here. And it's open. Let's go in. Let's come in. We'll go 
We'll go around counterclockwise. I slammed the door. I do apologize. It's a painting here called The American Soldier. American Soldier from 1839. Another wheel here, another wagon wheel. Here is a ride up on the storehouse. So get a good shot again. Feel free to pause the video or screenshot and or and come back and read this. We've got some, a couple axes and um, I think it's called a scythe or a sheath or something or other. Put it in the chat. Let me know what that is. Is that a sheath, an axe? This right here. But you sure those are different kinds of axes and axe heads. <laughs> Over here is a map of Orange County and a historical map of Orange County. And uh, Orange County, of course, for Christmas, I, I think. This is it over here. All right, so it's actually a Fort Taylor. I'm not seeing an actual designation for where Fort Christmas is, although this right here is Chuliota, which is the area right near Oviedo. <laughs> so Fort Christmas is down like in this area right here of the of the map kind of ish fort taylor we have here i can't read that one fort mellon i think uh and fort fort lane good map there's a river boat one of the rivers And then here is a map of the St. John's River Bridge, or the St. John's River and the Oklawaha River. Sorry about that lighting there, going through the glasses. Not the easiest. We have this poster up here about the transportation situation. And they have some other really neat um, pictures, photographs, and of having to do with the St. John's River in the boats. All right, then over here we've got there's some barrels, some supplies. And then again, I do apologize for the reflection, but there are some different tools in here that might have been used around the time period of the 1800s, <clears throat> early to mid 1800s and beyond. Yeah, you can see my reflection. Hi. <laughs> uh, then they have another case over here on the bottom. Yep, those are my legs. Those are my legs. Not as delicious as a turkey leg, but those are my legs. Right there. <laughs> and then they've got this case up here. Some more tools. Oh. 
And then up top here, these cases of the tools, display of the tools. If you are ever in Central Florida and want to come visit the Fort Christmas, um, really is interesting for you. Even a one-time visit, you can probably do Fort Christmas in somewhere between one and two hours, I would estimate, uh, depending on how thorough of a walkthrough you do. So we out of the storehouse here come back around here and then here we are in the block house as I said they do have ramps do have ramps really accessible mostly accessible I didn't show you on there but they have a a pretty low there's a little bit of a bump here a little bit of a just a tiny step but um not huge. I, I think a wheelchair could enter this bottom part really easily. And then here is demonstrating the uh, tree tapping, the maple harvesting. And then there's some uh, pictures here of cattle owners, steer, all that. There's an oxen yoke. Oxen yoke on the wall. Come around here. They do have these windows. Looking for enemies coming to steal my turkey legs. This is the general store at Deer Park. Again, showing about the uh, oxen and farming. I love coming here to Fort Christmas. It's a good, just a snapshot of history and how life was back in the day. And I am Happy to be able to bring it to you. Again, I apologize for the reflection. Any reflections you see during this video, I do apologize for. Um, you don't notice that as much in real life, I think, but it's easy to um, let it, it's easy to see. Um, on a video. There's some different branding irons and calfskin cowboy hat, spurs, there's a lasso, and then this. The sculpture there is called The Tracker, donated by Don Lancaster, who is the sculptor. All right. And then in both of the block houses, they do have an upstairs. We'll go up the stairs, take a look at what is here. Um, 
So this is a display case. It's got a lot of historical things in there. I'm gonna come over to the side so you can get a better view of the artifacts in there. Really interesting. Dress, sewing machine there, singer. They have a violin or a fiddle. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Probably a fiddle, maybe. Sunglasses, or not sunglasses, you know, glasses, spectacles. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Some hats on a chair. Really neat display case. Let's come around to the side. Here we go, phonograph. Shoes. Some more glasses and a couple little books. There, really neat. Over here are some toys and fun things. That might have been played with by the younger people. There's a, a cowboy vest and chaps. It's a fun wagon built from Coca Cola, from a Coca Cola um, crate. And in this case, they've got some dresses, handmade dresses for children, youngsters. They've got a doll there. They're in pink. They've got some tea sets, play sets for teas. Some shoes over here. And then coming down here, you've got some more down here. And along this wall, they have some quilts. Here, some quilts and fabrics. All along the bottom here. And then along at the top here, they have some of these cases of some different artifacts. Looks like some sewing and there's a hair clipper there, cigarette rolling papers, a snuff bottle, a turkey collar. Wow. I think that's that thing there turkey collar right there There's some old keys some ink bottles and then some sewing supplies up here and then on the top we've got some more things here some more glasses spectacles an encyclopedia there. There's another case over here. Over here, there's one more case I'm going to show you. They've got all these uh, pictures of different like families that were prominent in this area um, for the time period. <clears throat> there, these are some dishes and some bowls. These are really pretty up here. Might 
might find in a kitchen. Go, I like that cup right there, this glass right there. So yeah, there's these, these families from that time period and they've got several displays around. They've also got this loom from early 19th century. Well, I'm going to head down the stairs and we'll go across to the other, the second blockade. I'll see you there. Second block house. Here's this plaque here. All right. There is a map of Florida. Followed by a case here, there is a ship. There are the informational cards there for the USS United States model, as well as the site of Fort Christmas which is to the bottom. Over here, we've got a display for the coins of the Fort Christmas era. <clears throat> here is another map of Florida. This is Colton's map. Colton's map. You 
we're right about here where the g of orange is that's roughly where we are the g of orange right there not exactly but roughly there's some other images of soldiers American flag of 1837 had 26 stars. And in this case, got some different guns, rifles. There's some swords. This case has got, oh, just a ton of different artifacts. There's some binoculars here. There's some nails, there's some knives, there's some pipes, some buckles, there's a fork there, powder flask right here, bullets, buttons. There's another turkey collar right there, turkey, turkey collar, I need one of those. Come give me your legs, your beautiful drumsticks. And then over here we have four Christmas artifacts that were found in the area of the original fort, which is about a mile north of this location. No visible evidence of the fort, of the actual fort. These are some, uh, some Indian pottery. Some cannonballs. A hatchet. Kitchen post rings, nails over here in this little model, commemorative model of Fort Christmas. All right, and then you head upstairs. There's these maps of Florida on your way upstairs. There is a video that plays up here. Um, I think it loops continuously.
There's Mr. Beaver. Hi, Beaver. <laughs> So this map is shows Florida Indian land. So this um, level of the of this blockhouse has some Indian artifacts. Some different Indian arrowheads here. All right, these cards are for the display that I will show you to the left. Here's some Indian artifacts. Over here on the wall, you've got some um, Indian garb, Native American, if that's preferable. There's that beaver again. Over here, we've got a canoe. Over here, it's a turkey, wild turkey. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.
Again, the video you hear going, it plays on loop up here. For the video, it is a little distracting, I gotta say. <laughs> but, you know, up here it provides, you know, if you're here in person, it will provide some um, good information about the history. And I don't know what the name of the program is. Um, you could try a YouTube search, you might find it. Something about Fort Christmas history. This is a Seminole Indian camp that I'm showing you, a little display model here. And then over here you've got this sculpture is Osceola React. Uh, rejects treaty another sculpture from Don Lancaster who donated the tracker that I showed earlier in the video and Osceola is the name of this Indian chief and they have some posters here about the Seminole Indians and they've got some more pictures here, portraits. There we go. Battle for survival. I don't want to show that too long in case there's copyright issues that may arise, but that's called Battle of Survival, Battle for Survival. I'm just going to walk through the middle here and we'll walk outside and we'll get a view from out here to my left from the back side of the fort. I hope you enjoyed that tour of the stock houses or the stock at the storehouse and the block houses. Really neat place. And just to clarify, the um, lower levels of the blockhouses here, these buildings on the corners, you can easily get into the bottom level, but if you have trouble with steps, that's uh, going to be pretty much as far as you can go, unfortunately. Hopefully this video captured... Uh, what that looks like if that's an issue for anyone who may happen to come visit there's that flag Love that flag. I'm gonna walk around this side. I haven't walked around this side in all my visits. Gonna be a different view of the fort out here. The road off to the right. This is appropriately Fort Christmas Road. <laughs> And then off over here, which I have videoed and streamed before, 
that's that group of pioneer, you know, uh, pioneer homes, historical homes. Just a really neat place. Really, really, really neat place. So over here, off through the trees, you can see one of the buildings. I'm not going to be showing that on this video, but um, I have gone in there on a video and at least one live, live stream. <clears throat> and there's some other buildings. Those will be for future recordings. For you guys so stay tuned to the channel in the future more content I love coming here to Fort Christmas there will be more content from Fort Christmas so here is this side of Fort Christmas there is the parking area over there restrooms there is a playground there are a couple of pavilions they have a good handful of um picnic tables sorry picnic tables around the property so anyway guys thank you for watching this for christmas stroll and tour Mostly a tour, but I hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to check out all of my other Fort Christmas content in the Fort Christmas playlist that I have on the channel. And I will link that playlist in the description of this video. So guys, have a gobbletastic day. And I look forward to the next video or a live stream here on the channel so take care